Hey guys, the man here, and uh, I'm gonna bring you a TDM on uh, radiation with the M60 with uh, multiple attachments, and those are ACOG sight and uh, grip. I'm using a uh, flak jacket, um, warlord, and uh, hacker. This was actually a random uh, class I made on the random class generator. Uh, uh, Black Ops random class generator. Um, I though I didn't have time to change my kill streaks before I went into this game. Um, so I still have my Blackbird, Chopper Gunner, and Dogs going into this game. So, um, but I managed to get them. So that's <laughs> good, I guess. Um, this was uh, played on split screen with my brother who's in this game as well of course and uh, then recorded in theater mode after it and then it becomes full screen like this which is good so <coughs> and uh, the M60 is a pretty neat gun it's really good it got high damage and uh, <coughs> but the thing I'm so sorry, I don't know what's wrong with my throat. <coughs> um, uh, don't use it. Uh, I mean, don't spray with uh, the M60 unless um, they're close, of course. But um, I had a problem with many guns that I sprayed like hell even on long range um, like I used to do in uh, mm, Modern Warfare 2 I mean the uh, recoil on those guns were uh, non-existent really so you could spray but you can't in this game which I have learned by now which is good um, some tips for split screening for y you guys for those guys that are um, use a sight on your weapon and with a sight I mean reflex uh, red dot or ACOG uh, or even infrared not infrared <laughs> um, the reason for this is um, especially if you're playing on a small screen small TV um, then it's hard to see people who are far away so um, using a red dot sight or a cog scope makes it easier. Look at me pre-firing that guy. <laughs> Got my dogs and then I die. Um <coughs> but um yeah. Use uh, a cog or uh, red dot sight it really helps. I've noticed it and noticed it. Um <coughs> the M60 is a gun that I can recommend to everyone. The, I like the iron sight on it. By the way, I'm sorry for this. I did not see that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, um, the M60, I like the iron sights on it. So I don't really need to use any uh, other uh, equipment, really. Any other scope on it. But uh, So I usually use uh, with grip if I use it um, but uh, since this was a random class I triple kill I took this one and <laughs> it really it was better than I thought and uh, let's go chopper gunner time um, it feels like I'm really breaking up my <laughs> commentary talking about different stuff all the time I'm sorry um, haven't done one of these in a while. I've been at my mom's place, so I can't really record anything or do a commentary. I'm still not back at my dad's place, but I went over to just make this commentary and maybe a few more. <coughs> so, um, this gameplay um, was, you can say it was good, you can say it was bad. Um, because I got a good start 
even though it was a bit slow, I got it was a good start. Then I die a lot, um, but the KD doesn't uh, really suffer that much. So yeah, chopper gunners on radiation is just awful. <laughs> But uh, recently I've started to do really well in uh, ground war and all that with the uh, yeah really doing really well with uh, any gun getting high kill streaks and high scores. Although I've been using the gunship, which I sh probably should stop using, because every time every game I get a gunship, it's glitched in some way which is getting on my nerves Darks is a lot more reliable but I mean the gunship can be so devastating when uh, with a spawn trap and or in demolition or and such this gameplay is coming to an end uh, thank you guys for watching and listen to me ramble along I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys later. Bye.